clip from that YouTube okay. 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 get it on. We're back again to Breathing with Beerman. I'm going to even be more serious. Um, um, <laughs> Try to be. <laughs> Linda Cipriel and Dudley Cipriel. It's will be not Cipriel, it's Cipriel. <laughs> That's not a sustainable introduction. I'm, I'm not like President Obama. I'm more like the first George Bush or with the names. I do butcher names. Something like that. But um, they said Tracy Sabriel um, has an exciting new direction in her life. And um, your in laws, Dudley and Linda, are yes. qu quickly become a cornerstone, cornerstone politically. What is going on in your life? What is this holistic health coaching? Uh, I'm a holistic health coach. I started last year. I became certified a couple months ago. And a holistic health coach is a mentor. It's kind of um, like a coach, a sports coach. What I do is I mentor people to make uh, positive health choices in their life. And this is done through behavioral and lifestyle adjustments. Well, what about your own journey? Um, your kids, your kids, you have kids, what, um, nine? How old are your kids? No, they're all grown. Oh, that's what I, I thought. 22, uh, 21, and 19. Oh, your husband was coaching, I think. Okay, but anyway, what, what what about your own personal journey to get here? What Why did you go in this direction? Well, um, I am a, I'm a big believer that the food we eat affects us emotionally and physically. And I um, became very interested last year when I got involved with an organization called Attitudes in Reverse. Attitudes in Reverse is a uh, non-for-profit organization that uh, educates teens and their parents on suicide prevention and mental health. Well, I say that, I mean, everyone worries about marijuana. We can talk about marijuana, legalize this. What we eat every day is killing us mm -hmm. in this country. And I, my dad was one of the few doctors who goes, what's your diet? What did you have for breakfast? It's, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. No one brings up this common sense fact. No, most of the food on the shelves today is engineered food. You think of potato chips and all the things kids grab, and you have to know that that has some kind of effect on their mental health. Prepared processed food. Prepared processed it's food. Really, I call it engineered food. When you walk into a conventional supermarket, it's wall to wall mm -hmm. prepared processed right. food. Yeah. Yes. So what we want is people to eat organically. And what we have in Princeton is something called the Whole Earth Center, yes. which fills those needs very nicely. Yes, and the Whole Foods not too far away. Right. So you go to school, you've just gotten certified. Mm -hmm. What's the next step in your career, this journey? Which well, you like I started to... a blog, and it's called Be Fit with Tracy. And I chose the bee because, as you know, the bee is an um, uh, endangered species. But in okay. literature, it also symbolizes vitality, uh, and strength and hard work, all the things that we strive to be successful. On. Right, and they work together too. Yes. And they make that. And then, what, what, are you, what um, nonprofits are you going to be working for? What's well, attitudes in reverse is that uh, I'm on the board there, and we're going to do our first five, our second 5K run on May 18th. Because um, I'm a big believer that exercise uh, contributes to uh, feel good hormones, and it's good for the brain, it's proven, it's proven for the body. Yeah. And I'm also involved with the Unity Garden at Historical Society of Princeton. We started some education programs there, the director did, on farming and the importance of eating well. Mm -hmm. the, um, what about you personally? Did you always eat well? Has this affected yes, your Yes, I've been a good eater pretty much my whole life. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you're a runner. A, I'm a big runner, 50 miles a week. Oh my gosh. Well, so. The endorphins must be going. So <laughs> um, are you working with individuals right now, though? Yes, I'm actually working with a very special client. Um, she's in remission uh, with, uh, from ovarian cancer, and um, she's trying to compete in a 5K run on, on May 18th, and I plan to be there with her. You really she's part of my health diary, actually, uh, on my blog. So if you check out my blog, www.befitwithtracy.com, you'll read her story from the beginning. And she's trying to make some lifestyle changes because, you know, when you're battling cancer, you can put on weight and... There's frustration and sadness, and so. And beef, it just started. It's just started. so your journey.